Hi guys, Dale Bateman here from letsgetsocialcanada.com. Today I want to talk to you about getting friendly on social networking sites and helping your marketing results. Stay tuned. So guys, one of the biggest things you have to keep in mind if you're going to start a social media campaign for your small business is to interact with people on the social networks as much as possible. And I want to give you a few pointers today on how to do that effectively. Basically you want to get more friendly with people in the social networks so that they will get to know you, get to like your content, and eventually may become your customers. So. Um, one of the first things that you, you should do is link your social media networking sites, uh, your fan pages, your Twitter accounts, all this kind of thing, link that with your blog or your website. Okay, so anything that you post on your website or your blog will automatically be posted on your Facebook wall, on your Twitter feed, and this kind of thing. That way, it saves you some time first of all so you don't have to do it twice and it also makes sure that all your quality content is shared with the various different people that you interact with because let's face it you're going to have a different audience of people that interact with you on your blog and read your blog posts than are the people who are going to interact with you on Facebook and look at your fan page for instance and different again from the people who follow you on Twitter and so on and so on. So you have to make sure that that same message gets out there to as many people as possible in these different social networks. So linking those all together is a real key thing. Now, next up, uh, trying to get your email uh, campaign linked in with your uh, social media. And the way to do this, one of the best ways, is using Facebook tabs. If you're using Facebook, you have a fan page, you've got those little tabs at the, at the bottom underneath your cover photo. Uh, most cases it shows your photos, it shows how many likes you have on your fan page and so on. But you can add your own tab in there where you can go to a separate page right within Facebook and you can put an opt-in form for people to give you their email address in exchange for a free product, like a free report, an e-course, uh, a downloadable PDF, whatever it is, even watching a free video. So that's important, getting that social interaction going and then encouraging people to opt into your email list so you can continue to email them and market to them in the future. A very important thing and it's available right there in Facebook. Also, sharing all your content across different social sites. I touched on this a moment ago, but if you're posting things in Facebook exclusively, don't neglect your Twitter feed and vice versa. Okay, have those things linked so that you can share that content with both parties and both sets of people. Um, next up, researching what your competitors are doing. This is something that's important. So take a look at some of your competitors' Facebook pages, their fan pages, take a look at what they're posting on Twitter, take a look at their LinkedIn uh, professional page, and take a look and see what sorts of things they're doing. Now, I'm not su suggesting that you copy them, but you could take what they're doing and think, okay, how can I do it better? Okay, because there's always a way. Or if it's not better, it's a different way. Basically, the main thing I want to get across to you today, guys, is creating content that people like to share with other people is really the key with the social networks. If you create content, be it posts, showing them photos, videos, whatever it is, if it's shareable, you're going to grow your online presence as a result. So really take care when you're creating your content to make sure you're writing it in an engaging way and encouraging people to share it when they see it. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed these tips and you've got some value here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel 
or you can click over any time to my blog at letsgetsocialcanada.com, sign up for a free consultation, I will sit down with you, figure out a solid social media campaign for you and your small business, and get you started right away. Until next time, my name is Dale Bateman from letsgetsocialcanada.com, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Bye for now.